in a country that was built on a protest. You say to protest is wrong because you spoke out of turn, because you spoke up for people who are marginalized. You spoke up for children who won't ever be able to speak again. This is not about expelling us as individuals. This is your attempt. This is your attempt. This is your attempt to expel the voice of the people from the people's house. That was Tennessee Democratic Representatives Justin J. Pearson and Justin Jones before they were expelled from the Republican-controlled legislature on Thursday for participating in a gun control protest on the State House floor last week. Justin J. Pearson joins us now. Representative Pearson, thank you for joining us. You have spoken with great passion on the issue of gun violence, and I was wondering if you can can tell us, you, I, I know you lost a, a classmate of yours uh, to, to gun violence shortly before you were sworn in as a representative. What can you tell us about how that motivates you? Yes, Larry Thorne, the classmate I graduated with from Mitchell High School here in Memphis, Tennessee. Larry was an extraordinary person, a great administrator in schools, worked with kids all the time, and the mourning and grief we still feel and experience today because we still haven't found out who killed Larry. But we do know that it was gun violence that killed Larry. We do know that in Nashville, just over a week ago, there was a shooting where six people were killed, three children at nine years old, and three adults who were working at the school. This has catalyzed the conversation about the need to end gun violence in our communities and to realize that, yes, it is in schools, and that's something that we need to deal with, but it is also in our communities. And that's because there's been a proliferation of guns and also a proliferation of laws in Republican-led, majority-led legislatures like here in Tennessee that continue to have negative consequences for our communities. This state passed a permitless carry law. Over 2,000 cars have gotten broken into in our city and our county. The reason why? because people are looking for guns. Murders are up 44% relative to this point last year in our city. There are real consequences to the decisions of people in power, and those consequences are disproportionately hurting our community in District 86, which I have the great fortune of representing. The, the, the uh, expulsion left your constituents, obviously, now without a representative in the, uh, in the State House. Uh, the, uh, Shelby, the, the, the Shelby County Board of, uh, of, of Commissioners We'll have to send a replacement for you. Are they going to send you? Do we, do, do we, could we see you reinstated as early as next week? Yeah, I do hope to continue to serve uh, District 86 in the reappointment. And if there is a special election, I would definitely run in that special election because our voters have been disenfranchised. This is one of the greatest tactics of voter disenfranchisement and voter oppression that I have ever witnessed. It is not only unprecedented, it is historical in nature. It's a historical abuse of power by Cameron Sexton and the supermajority Republican legislature who would rather expel our voices and try to expel our people's voices from the people's house rather than address the issue of gun violence and the need for real gun safety reform legislation that could prevent people from dying in the first place. But District 86 and our community and District 52 as well, Representative Jones' community, wants to see us to serve them and to speak up and to speak out when people like Cameron Sexton and the Republican leadership would rather be silent or silent Democrats and progressive voices. Well, your voice has certainly uh, grown uh, in, in, since this. We saw uh, both you and, and, and Justin Jones, Gloria Johnson, having a call, a video call with, uh, uh, with President Biden. Obviously, you had the vice president come in uh, uh, to, to see you as well. Uh, how are you going to use this platform to get done what you were trying to get done in the first place here? Yes, we can never forget that it was tragedy that has brought us to this moment. But it was six lives that were lost in addition to the uh, shooter in Nashville at the Covenant School who has catalyzed this conversation and this need for change in our state. And it is young people. It's children and teenagers by the thousands who continue to protest, who continue to march, who continue to raise their voices to say we need to do something to end gun violence. We need to make sure that we're banning assault weapons. We need red flag laws. We need gun storage safety laws in our state that are going to help to propel this movement. And I pray to God to be able to use my voice as a member of the state legislature to represent Memphis and Shelby County and Millington to continue to fight to pass reasonable, sensible legislation that the majority of people in Tennessee want. The reality is we have a supermajority Republican legislature that doesn't want to see progress, that prefers to listen to the NRA rather than the constituents. And in fact, the speaker had the audacity to call some of those children and some of those parents and grandparents insurrectionists. 
likening them to January 6th because they're demanding that their voices be heard in a democracy, which is what we have a responsibility to ensure every person feels that they have a voice in democracy and will not be silenced. All right, Representative Justin J. Pearson, thank you for joining us on this week. Uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.